Don't you love playing games on your gaming consoles? But what if you have to go outside? You can bring a handheld console with you like a Switch, or you can play games on your phone. You, yeah. On your phone, you can play such classics like Super Mario Bros. Classic in 1985 and They Are Coming. Great title. Today, I downloaded a few silly little mobile games so I can become a real mobile gamer. I mean, who knows, maybe one of these games is going to be game, uh, game of the year every year. Mario's an iconic person, right? So let's play Mario game called Super Bros. Classic 1985. This game has 2.4 stars. That's how you know this is going to be a hidden gem. Alright, so here we are playing, and we are Mario or, or something, and I got this star, and I thought since the stars, you know, they're invincible, I thought I could kill this turtle thing, that didn't work, so I lost a life. Anyway, the controls of this game are wacky as, you're so floaty, I guess, you're like in space or something, and the physics can like, you. it plays like you're in space, and over here we got these like mushroom things, that I kill, and uh, I I don't know if this game's gonna get, uh, win game of the year, but I can tell you these graphics are so cool. Like like look at this, like we got like the blurry background with the Mario sprites and all this shit. This game looks like a flash game. You find like those weird, uh, those weird third party websites like I don't know games online or something like that this looks like a flash game and that's really what i call it some random ass mario fan game flash game there's a fire button but that you can fire things which is cool and like you can just rapid fire them just like a machine gun just keep shooting them there's there's no there's no ammo or anything just keep shooting them so uh yeah i didn't beat this game because I, I, I'm sorry, but I gotta tell you, this this is not gonna be game of the year. I, I, I'm so sorry you had to hear that. Here we got another masterpiece in mobile gaming known as They Are Coming. Here you just shoot a bunch of these red guys because blue people hate, just fucking hate the red people. And uh, I gotta tell you, despite this game being so simple, my phone kept lagging out and freezing. I don't know why. This game looks like it can run on any type of phone. Why is it lagging so much? Maybe it's because of uh, other things, but it kept lagging. So I'll give this game a 1 out of 10. I am so sorry to They Are Coming fans. Haha, <laughs> get it? I am, they, are, they are coming? <laughs> I'm, I'm coming right now. I'm coming right now because, because this game is so hot. Alright, that was terrible. Okay, next game. Here we have Imposter Battle Royale. Here, this, this just plays like Among Us. Funny name. Here, you're just, this is literally just Among Us, but with guns and you kill everybody. This is the Fortnite. Just imagine you're playing Among Us, except you can, you can shoot things. And yeah. Anyway, I got a victory royale in this game. So obviously, now I gotta say this is game of the year. Uh, so yeah. But if I have to like really talk about this game, like being serious, uh, it's, it's, it's a decent enough game it's fine when you're killing these bots and everything and these eight-year-olds but like it's it's fine there's nothing really that wrong with it it's just it's just among us with guns that's that's really it except so yeah you can kill all those very sussy imposters epic here we have another game that's also called the same thing called imposter battle royale that's what it's called anyway uh this game is Fortnite, but you play as funny Among Us people. That's really it. Uh, I guess a good comment on uh, how this game plays. It plays like those fucking Dollar Tree knockoffs for Fortnite and PUBG. That's how this plays like. You, you move kind of slow and stuff. And uh, the crosshair is just this pink rectangle. So uh, uh, that's something. So yeah this is this is like one of those like dollar tree fortnite PUBG knockoffs on the app store except you can uh play with among us people that's cool i guess if you're if you really wanted to play a fortnite with among us man then god you have to get this game right now here we got another classic 
App Store game or Play Store game called Rush Run Need a Pee. One million people downloaded this game apparently. So in here you have to guide this little little Timmy over here to the toilet because he wants to pee. That, that's the plot. This is like one of the most amazing masterpieces of storytelling of in game in history, I'm telling you that much. Uh well, uh you're supposed to guide him, but I decided to just draw funny things because I don't I don't know. And here we have another game that also has you guiding somebody to the toilet, and that is Toilet Dash 3D. So, yeah, this is just uh, Rush Run Need a Pee, except you control Stick Man. And, uh, yeah, this is almost the exact same thing, except not as good. I know I was also shocked to find out this game isn't as good as Rush Run Need a Pee. The, the way to guide this guy is so fucking weird. You, there's like no matter how much I tried I couldn't get this guy to move at all and I know you're supposed to like use the touch screen to guide him but but still it didn't work it, it was so weird it was so weird to control this little man anyway uh, I just decided to make him run into things and also decide to draw funny things so yeah epic well, listen man I've been caught a pussy a lot of times but uh, I gotta prove to everybody in the world and I'm not a pussy. So when I was looking for mobile games, I found I found this game. This game's gonna get me. This game is not gonna. This, this game is gonna turn me into a real man. I'm gonna get all the ladies now with uh, City Gangster Games. This has 3.2 stars on the Play Store. So uh, that's how you know it's gonna be a good old gaffy time. And here, so we start off with the best menu screen and all of game in history and we select our things and uh it kept playing a bunch of ads so that was fun i couldn't even get past anything without it putting an ad so after choosing our college dropout we decided to we hop into the game and uh yep there's different modes and stuff but i just decided to choose the first one because uh i, I want this to get over with so we choose business mode and go to level one. And anyway, here we have to go find our boss who is in a nightclub. And bam, when I get to the nightclub, this thing is humongous, man. Like, look at all these flames going on. Yeah. So yeah, there's so much people partying here. There's nobody here. Same with the city. There's like nobody in the city. But I guess everybody here is partying. Everybody is partying in some other place because there's nobody in this nightclub. Anyway, we talk to this guy and then the level ends. Fun game. 10 out of 10. Definitely would totally play this again because this is a master. I'm not even being funny. This, this game is ass. Here we have Evil Elf Fun Christmas Game. That's the name of it. So when I went to the page, there's 500 downloads and there's no reviews at all. So this is how you know this is going to be a good game. And so we hop into the game, and it's just this where you have to touch these red things. And uh, I'm just gonna read the description on this game: Be an evil elf and smash Christmas balls in 1,200 levels of endless fun. So I'm guess we're doing is smashing Christmas balls because we're an evil elf fun Christmas guy. So yeah, uh, I will say this is a game, and it. It does exist. Yeah. Alright, I saved the scariest and best game for last. It This game is called Sinister Sausage Man Run Game. And I don't know if we're going to be able to handle this game or I'm going to be able to handle this game. It is a true terrifying masterpiece. I mean, even though the game calls itself Sausage Man... I, we, we must call it by its full name, Sinister Sausage Man Run Game. So, anyway, we get into the first love when it tells us, like, this deep anime backstory lore about how these sausage people are coming to Earth to take over and eat humans and stuff like that. So, yeah. And we gotta save, and us, the protagonist of this masterpiece, 
have to save the humans and everybody else. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. I'm about to show you some uh, live reaction of me playing this truly horrifying game. It's the sausage man. Holy moly. Okay, I actually, want, I wonder what happens. I wonder what happens if I touch the sausage. Hold on, where, where's the sausage man? Where's the sausage man? How you doing, full kid? What happened? Oh my god! In one of the levels, you had to pick up this key, and I couldn't pick up this key. It took me like 50 years to finally pick to finally pick it up, and I did pick it up. So, yeah, this is if I'm ever doing a speed run on this game, I gotta master how to get that key very quickly. Anyway, we go into this house. There's this evil sausage man guy. We release these people, and then they stop playing this game because they don't want to keep playing this game. And so, yeah, that's the last mobile game I played for today. Well, looking at these mobile games have been kind of fun. Most of them were like very boring. There were there was nothing to do. None of these mobile games made me made me uh, gamer rage. So uh, most of these games are just very boring. They're boringly bad. That, that's really it. Except for like I don't know the the Among Us one because it's funny. Yeah, most of these games are just boringly bad and you really only would want to play these games if you're like bored and want something to do with your phone and stuff but uh yeah but that's what i would say if i was a, still a pussy after playing sausage man whatever the fuck its name is i'm a man and so yeah all these games 10 out of 10 you should all play these games right now